Hi there, my name is Vic. I am a customer success manager on the Dash team. And on today's video, I'll be showing you uh, the following steps for a general setup so you can get started on your platform. So I'll begin here on the top right in the menu tab again. The first thing we'll do is edit your profile. So when you do sign up and receive your credentials, you'll receive a set of mock credentials for your username and your password. After you log in with that set of, lo of mock credentials, sorry, um, please edit your profile and create your own personalized username along with the necessary information, first name, last name, and email, and of course, Skype ID for further communications. Same thing with your password. You'll receive uh, an, an initial password to log in the system. Please don't continue using that password. Please reset your password to one of your choice and then continue using your system. Next will be system settings. Now here, again, another touch of personalization. Please edit your system name, um, ideally your company name. If you do work in a company, if not, please uh, set it to uh, your own personal name. And please also set your default time zone as this will affect reporting as it says here. Next will be redirects. Now, if this field is empty, Please fill this in um, in case there's an error or a broken link, um, your end user might land on a 404 page. So ideally it'd be, it would be nice if they land on a fresh uh, working live page, whether that be another offer that you know for sure is working or ideally um, the Google page, which essentially always works. So you'll have to add it in HTTPS format, choose Google and update it. Next is fraud protection. Again, your instance is pre-integrated with our Overwatch fraud protection tool. Please make sure this is in the on position. If it's off, it'll look like so. Please turn it on and feel free to scroll down through the fraud strategies we have down below. All of them come with further information as seen and you can play around with different fraud strategies that fit your business. Next is customization. Again, another touch of personalization to your instance or your publisher UI. Just please click on the square here and add in whatever image you'd like to add in. Publish terms, same thing here. Please make sure it's in the on position and then upload your document after you search for it in your system. Lastly, subscription. You have the option to cancel your subscription or change it. To change it, please just enter it in, click on update so it'll save, hide it, then you're good to go. Lastly is users. So if you'd like to add more users from your organization, please go on the top right, click on add user, fill in all the necessary mandatory information, save it, and the end product will look like so. John C. Smith, username J. Smith, email, the position a supervisor you can add later, status will be active and their associated role. Feel free to edit later if they do ever get a promotion. So that's it for the general basic setup. I hope that was informative for you and looking forward to seeing you on the next following video. Thank you.